Okay, you are welcome back once again to this Zygzo firewall setup and I uh, want to quickly see uh, more things that we could exploit here. Uh, look at here ADP, which is uh, anomaly detection and prevention. Um, <laughs> we could actually go to profile and quickly create a new profile. So there is an existing profile here, but you could add your own profile, put it on all, name this profile. So we can name it block suspicious suspicious um, activities all right so now we could scan detection um, sensitivity um, I think I'm going to leave it on medium at this point block period this is in seconds so if um, let's say 300 seconds uh, 120 seconds would be fine so 120 second, seconds would mean two minutes uh, so you can see the port scan of this world. So if you're using your Kali Linux to run a scan on the network, or you are doing a ping sweep, um, ICP, uh, ICMP ping sweep, uh, these are different types of scanning threats. Um, we are going to block any of these activities, port scan, uh, be it IP protocol scan, TCP port scan, UDP port scan, ICMP sweep. If we receive any of this on our network, we are going to go ahead and take a default action, which is block the traffic, which is the IP address that the search ping is coming from. Okay, so this is actually under traffic anomaly and uh, also see flood detection. So things like ICMP flood, IP flood, TCP flood, UDP flood, flood, um, threshold is specified here. So is uh, this is the period of time that this IP address, uh, these activities are coming from is going to be blocked. So if um, we are detecting port scan as activities, uh, BTIP protocol scan, TCP port scan, UDP port scan, ICMP sweep, etc. We are going to blacklist and block the IP address that such scans are coming from for a period of uh, whatever you put here. So if I put uh, 3600 seconds, I, I guess 3600 seconds should be like one hour or thereabout. Or we'll just put a figure here that decides the block period after which that IP address will be allowed once again. Uh, same thing is applicable down here, block period for all these kind of activities detected on the network is a flood detection. So uh, ICMP flood, IP flood, TCP flood, UDP flood. And once those settings are made, we'll just click on um, save here to save the changes to customize this uh, uh, block uh, scanning. So I guess the previous name I gave it, I put spaces. Uh, spaces is not allowed here. We use hyphen or underscore to link up the word. So. All right, so and that's it. So we just uh, created a new um, um, anomaly detection rule. Okay, so that's it on the ADP. And if I show power on a Kali Linux on my network and begin to scan, the IP address of my Kali is going to be uh, blacklisted. So we basically have gone through application patrol and we've just uh, uh, created ADP, which is anomaly detection and prevention which is about uh, post scanning activities going on on the network. So let's look at content filter. In this way, we have opportunity to block a host of um, websites. Make sure HTTPS domain filter for HTTPS traffic is enabled. Um, enable content filter, HTTPS domain uh, traffic, uh, sorry, domain filter uh, block one page. So um, this are basically, these boxes have to be ticked. And uh, we come down here, we create a profile management. So we just click on add. Already there are some policies created here. This is business productivity protection. So I could go to add. I'll give my policy a name, block, blah, 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 websites, and then you can even enable safe search if you so desired. Enable content filter category. And uh, we, uh, we can also log our web pages. And just know that login traffic can also impact the uh, firewall performance. So here we say the actions that should be taken um, uh, for managed websites will block it if the website falls under the category that we are trying to filter. If the website is not categorized, so just send a warning to the user. And if the uh, category server is unavailable, we'll also send a warning, but go ahead and allow the traffic. Uh, so different categories, uh, game, cartoon, and just select the different categories that your company's policy prohibits. And um, you don't want people to go to gambling websites, no matter where the site is located in the world. All the things will tick here. <laughs> world, basically, this is a very easy firewall to set up. You scroll down to the bottom and save your selections. Then go ahead to a tab, a web browser, and begin to test out those um, websites that fall under these categories that you're actually blocking. That's pretty much how to do that. So just to show you what is already here. So the policy is created here, BPP, this is business productivity. 
protection so let's just take a look at it go to edit and you see pretty much give a name and give a description and you come down and tick all the categories you want to block media um, sharing nudity there is pornography so it means a pornographic website will not be accessible on this network there's also job search peer-to-peer uh, -peer file sharing websites and all that um so let me look for i think there is gambling yeah so there is gambling here <laughs> I don't do any of those stuff, but let's say Bet Niger. So uh, we just use Bet Niger as, a, as an example. So what is their website? Uh, I think uh, this is it. Uh, HTTPS BetNiger.com. Oh. So it's going to reset the connection and it's telling us here that your connection is not private. Well, we can actually fix this because uh, SSL inspection is not enabled in the firewall. So if I get into the firewall, so it's actually working because it's not allowing me to get to a gambling website. So one of the examples is betniger.com. But if we don't want it to complain about SSL certificates, you probably have to acquire our own SSL certificates. But this is where you can actually set that up in order not to get this ugly message. So you just see deny message here. Um, getting into the firewall on the security service, um, there should be SSL inspection here. And we've got no policy at all for inspecting traffic. So click on add, give the policy a name and the description and then um, your certificate you want to use uh, if we go ahead and use this firewall default ssl certificate we have to ensure that we download the certificate from this firewall and install it on all the client devices that we have on the network otherwise the web browsers we have on these client devices is not going to recognize this certificate but if you want to not have any of these issues so we could also uh, reach out to a trusted certification authority like verisign and purchase our own certificate which will be well known through any web browser so we could use a default certificate and we go ahead and click on ok and when we go to policy control uh, so you could see this is saved uh, if we go to policy control uh, we attach it to a particular policy so uh, here if i go to learn i'm going so let me just cancel this guy so go there manually policy control that is under security policy and select it learn to one traffic and edit scroll down you see before now we attached our application patrol that blocked zoom web app um, can also under ssl inspection here you can attach the newly created ssl inspection policy and click on ok okay so it's still going to give me uh, this um, uh, certificate message because my web browser is not going to recognize the self-signed certificate generated by the zyxel except i download that certificate from my zyxel firewall and install it on my pc that will make my web browser to recognize it but anyway the website that falls on the gambling is not working it's not going here and if we check out another gambling website uh, it should also be blocked we just tested bet niger so which other website is into gambling so we'll probably have to type gambling on the browser so we'll, okay maybe betting right so this is bet niger we just visited it okay there's another betting website bet king so let's see what's up if Bet King is going to open, um, of course it's not. So because of the policy that is um, applied in the firewall. So once again, if you go to the content filter and um, you look at the biz, uh, business productivity protection and go to edit, you notice here that part of the category that we are filtering is gambling. And that's why all those gambling websites are not going. This is a very, very easy to set up firewall. Uh, this is by no means the best firewall you get in the market but this is very very good for small business environment uh you've been able to ensure that you have maximum protection for the client devices that you have connected on the network and um, creating policies here very straightforward thank you so very much for watching this video and see you in our next tutorial